18 by 24 inch canvas. I picked this canvas up at Hobby Lobby, oh wow, several months ago. Um, so I'm just now getting to it. I've been working on a lot of Christmas decorations and getting my house ready for Christmas. So I've been kind of busy. I haven't done a, a painting in about, a, hmm, about eight days, almost two weeks. And um, so that's what I'm gonna do today. I am going to be working with some colors that I don't normally use. Um, I, I do use gold quite a bit, but I'm talking about different shades of green. So what I'm going to be doing today, um, I'm going to be using Color Shift by Folk Art, um, Dragon Flash. Also by Folk Art. Another color shift paint, Aqua Flash. Another color shift by Folk Art, Green Flash. And my golds, different tones of gold, Folk Art Metallic Rose Gold. So folk art, Inca gold, which is very light gold, probably one of my favorite shades. Um, royal gold by folk art, and Anita's pearl metallic paints is pearl blush gold. So. I'm going to be putting these colors on this board here with the black background. I've already mixed my paints, if you can see them over here. Um, I added a couple of drops of silicone oil, which I don't use a lot of. Um, I don't use silicone too much in my paintings, but today I wanted to put some silicone in it, so that's what I did. So, let's see. Um, I'm thinking, I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to have a black background, and I think I'm going to lay my paints probably in like a an S pattern. Just straight down and whew, a little curly at the end. I'm not trying to make a wave, I'm just making a different pattern, trying to do something different instead of the same stuff. So using these colors, a little black background with a little pattern. We'll see how it turns out. So here we go.
Okay, so I had to pop in right quick. So right about here, I kind of felt like this picture, this painting was really starting to look like a royal mess. I wasn't really happy with what was happening. Um, what I had in my head definitely was not coming out on canvas. I feel like the colors are starting to get a little muddy. And I definitely put too much paint on this canvas. Um, yeah, today, the thoughts that I had in my head for this particular painting did not, um, it wasn't going in the direction that I was hoping that it would go in. Um, so I did end up, which you'll see pretty soon, scraping several areas off of this canvas because um, I was kind of trying to go for like an S pattern and this don't look like no S to me. I don't know. It just doesn't look like an S. So I had to scrape off the areas where um, that I needed to to make it look like an S. And honestly, I don't know where this blue is coming from. It must be the combination of those greenish um, um, color shifting paints. Um, I had no idea that they were going to turn a blue. I didn't want blue in, but the blue looks pretty cool. But I did have to scrape it, as you can see right here. Yeah, bye-bye paint. Because um, I'm trying at this point to salvage this painting. Um, I'm not really feeling this painting at all. And I'm not feeling the color mix. Um, perhaps if I had done it in a different style, maybe a ring pour, a record ring pour, or um, a swipe, maybe. I don't know. But um, I'm just going to work it. I'm going to work this this painting and I'm going to get through it and I'm going to see what it looks like at the very end. Um, but yeah, I'm going to save it or try my best attempt at saving it. But I mean, I don't think it's the most worst thing I've ever done, but it's definitely not the best I've ever done. But yeah, it's you'll see at the end. So just keep watching. Okay, so I guess I'm done. I did all I could do, guys, to save this painting, and I think it turned out okay. Um, am I over the moon in love with it? Nope, I am not. But, you know, it is what it is. You know, you just try to do the best you can, and sometimes you have those moments where your work is absolutely 
perfect the way you envisioned it. And other times it just comes out completely different. And that's what happens. Um, I definitely use too much paint. Um, so that was my fault. And I don't know where this blue came from, but it's really beautiful and I love it. But I mean, I don't hate it, but I'm not in love with it either. But, you know, I'll just go ahead and let it dry and show you the dry results in a few seconds here. Um, I'm still going to varnish it when I'm able to. Uh, maybe put it up for sale. If somebody wants it, that'd be perfect. You know, <laughs> but anyway, yeah, here it is dry. And, you know, like I said, it's not the worst, but it's not the best. There are some muddy areas. I don't know that I like the green too much. I don't use these colors too often, but I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comments. Don't hit me too harsh, though. <laughs> it's it's okay, though. I, it's all right. It's, it'll do for now. I'm going to redo this and um, try it again with um, less paint to control it better and maybe a different whole different style let me know what you think in the comments again guys and you know what thank you for joining me today i appreciate you appreciate your time and until next time stay safe oh and if you like this video give it a thumbs up or not and subscribe if you haven't um i will definitely be doing this over again or something with the same colors and a, definitely a different combination um and different technique take care guys Bye bye